So some of you know already about the Google Cardboard, but for those who don't know about it, you will learn everything you need to know. And what, we, what I want to present to you is how can you use the Cardboard uh, for your brand, to market your brand. So I will start first telling you what uh, the Cardboard is. The Cardboard is meant to be a prototype that uh, is easily accessible for everyone. We want people to uh, have a chance to test uh, virtual reality and 3D application. And the, as the name suggests, the cardboard is just a piece of cardboard with uh, lenses, uh, a magnet, and if you want to go fancy, it also has a near field communication uh, antenna so that you can communicate uh, some piece of data. And uh, the Google Cardboard is assembled, some of you are already doing that, is assembled uh, quite easily. And at the core of the cardboard sits your mobile phone. Uh, in this version, you can fit a, a phone that is between four to five inches. And that's the brain and the screen of the virtual reality headset uh, that you have. The software, how it works, it, the software will um, display an image. The image will be split for the two eyes. And it will be distorted so that after you put it on, on your face, you will see the reality around you. It's going to expand uh, to fill your uh, field of vision. Uh, the applications that can be used for the cardboard are limitless, but I want to present you a couple of them. For example, you can use the cardboard to tell stories. Imagine uh, having a cartoon and kids watching the cartoon in an interactive way. They can look around. They can follow the characters moving on screen. And you can also design the experience to react to what the kids are doing. For example, if the kid is focusing on the little mouse chasing the, uh, the hat, you can make the story progress only at that point. So the story itself adjusts to every single user, to every single kid, depending on how the kid feels like. Some kids will be interested in other parts of the world, and some kids will go fast through the experience. So it can be something linear but it follows the pace of each user. Or it can also be not linear, so it can have events that uh, happen only when you look at a specific um, position. For grown-ups, uh, of course, you can also use all the uh, entertainment industry uh, venues. For example, you can, reg uh, you can record a live concert in 3D, and you can imagine people being next to their favorite uh, artists watching while he plays, watching while uh, he sings, or moving on stage to, uh, together with, uh, with the keep and the dancers. Uh, but you also can apply this to fashion shows. You can apply this to uh, sports events. And why not? You can also apply this to documentaries. Imagine being inside uh, a beautiful cathedral uh, while a tour guide explains to you what you're going to see. And you can focus on what you want around you. Uh, and of course, gaming is also one of the uh, biggest areas where cardboard shines, because a lot of casual games or more complicated games benefit from the fact that uh, they are already in 3D, and they can be easily adapted to be shown on the cardboard. And the game itself becomes much more interactive and engaging. Uh, the marketing potential uh, comes from these facts, and some of our partners already experimented with it. For example, Volvo decided to showcase their, uh, their new launch, the, the launch of their new crossover vehicle with a cardboard application. Or Thomas Cook uses, uh, used it to showcase uh, their resorts. And you can imagine that you can really easily customize this piece of technology because it's just a piece of cardboard. You can print on top of it and inside of it, and you can customize the look but you also can customize the materials. For example, you can go with uh, some uh, lighter paper. You can do something with plastic. And why not? You can get even more creative and use uh, non-standard materials. Uh, and afterwards, you just have to add your content. Uh, and uh, then your, your branding story is complete. And speaking about how do you actually develop the content, uh, if you have in-house capabilities and developers, the development for Cardboard is based on an Android SDK. So if they are accustomed to build applications for Android, they can leverage on the new uh, features of Cardboard, and they can easily build an application. Or if you have 
uh, game designers or uh, people that are comfortable with game engines. Popular game engines such as Unity can be used as well to tailor the application. Uh, game, when I say game engines, I don't mean that they can be used only for games. They can be used also for more interactive experiences, just they are the base for the development. Otherwise, if you don't have some in-house capability, you can always rely on agencies and other developers or um, people that will have the expertise to help you out. Some are very specific. For example, AirPano specializes in 3D photography and panoramic photography. Others will specialize in game development. Others will specialize in storytelling. So you can find a partner that is best suited for your, your own story and your own brand. And that's it. I want to switch very quickly to actually showing you how the cardboard looks like and what you can see when you are using it. So the cardboard itself is an Android application that you can download. In the paper that you received uh, together with the cardboard, the first of the three is uh, the cardboard application. And it looks like this as soon as it projects. So you will have your cardboard application. You can launch the Cardboard application. From here, you can access the store and find more games, applications, experiences. And what I want to show you first is the Google Cardboard demo. Not this one. You pop in. Once it's popped in, this is Google Maps, one of the applications that you can see. And the headset, so when you put it on your eyes, it follows your gaze. So it looks where you're looking. And this is, now you see two distorted images, but the eye really sees the reality around you. And it's easy to go back and select another application with the switch on the left, like this. This application is used to load photos, uh, photospheres, which are photos, panoramic photos that you take with your camera. And you can see them all around you. Or you can use the YouTube application to have a personal cinema, and you can select videos and watch them as if you are in a cinema. And it's controlled by voice. But not only that, I want to showcase also what I was showing you before. This is a recording of Paul McCartney um, concert. Let's see. And again, this is how it looks like if it's, if it's loading. Live demos are like that. And you can look around, focus on the stage, focus all around you. And you can really tailor this application to whatever your brand does. And you can uh, customize this for the story you want to tell. So if you are interested in partner partnering with us to leverage on the Google Cardboard, you can reach out to your account managers and to your sales team. And we will guide you through the, pro uh, the process to be able to uh, develop your own experience. That's it. Thank you very much.